This is my favorite, even though I don't always get to use it, which is the no callback close. I learned it from Brian Tracy on the audio book, The Art of Closing the Sale. If you're not, if you haven't listened to that audio book, you need to go get that audio book, The Art of Closing the Sale, the no callback close, right? So someone says, hey, and there's two different ways you can use it, the, the no callback close. There's the semi-aggressive way, and I'm going to show them both to you. There's the semi-aggressive way, or there's the super aggressive way. And not everyone will be comfortable with using, some agents won't be comfortable with using any of these. But I have to say, I've heard from reports back from agents, and Dylan can, t can, tell, can tell you guys if I'm, if, if I'm lying, that agents have used this close that we're about to show you, and they've had success. True or false, Dylan? True. They've used it, Dylan said true, they've used it and didn't know if it was going to work, but people said, I want to think about it, I'm not sure, I'm not ready, and then they ended up using this no callback close that we're going to go over in just a second, and they ended up getting a sell that they wouldn't normally do. Now, it takes some guts. I'm telling you, it takes some guts. i got to set this one up properly, but there's two different variations of this. The semi-aggressive one is... All right, as Lauren shows my impersonation badge, throws it to me. I got to put this. I got to put this bad boy on because I'm gonna be hanging out with you guys at the Statler in Dallas. The semi-aggressive one is Miss Betty. So they say, I want to think about it. Miss Betty, unfortunately, we have a no callback policy. Right? You have everything that you need to make an informed decision today. So why don't you just take it? That's the semi-aggressive option. Still works. My super aggressive option works even better. Like I love the opportunity to use this. Like I want someone to not pick one of those three options and give me a chance to pull this thing out of my bag, right? I love it. I want to show you guys. I've closed $300 a month sales with this. I've closed $505 a month sales with this. I've closed $750 a month sales with this, right? Using this method, I've closed, I always use it on big deals. It's different because most agents, they get to the big deal and they're like, holy freak, I don't want to screw this, like a thousand bucks a month, right? And they're like, or $200 a month, they think it's big. $200 a month, they're like, holy crap, I don't want to screw this one up. And, and then you're like, you do whatever you need to do. If you want to think about it for six months, that is perfectly fine. I just hope that when you end up buying, that you buy with me. Instead, realize that it's hard enough to get in front of someone one time. It's even tougher to get in someone back in someone back in front of someone a second time when you have the opportunity to get the client and get the business. You must close and get it. And trainers and agents. And managers that tell you you can think about it or go to go to a second appointment or always run two appointments are wrong. I'm telling you, they're wrong. So that's why when I get a chance to grab a large cell, even a small cell, cell small cells are, are not even worth coming back for, but big cells, cells of all kinds, I want to close on the first call. I do not want to come back. I have a what? No callback policy, which is what you guys should adopt. Tell me what you think of this so far, because this we're spitting some freaking gold in today's show. We've been going about 16 minutes, and we've given too much value. Check out. I want some. I want to see some comments. Facebook and YouTube. Dylan's watching them. Duker's watching them. Lauren's getting some Instagram and Facebook stories. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, you can follow me, Cody Askins. You got to do that. We're giving behind the scenes stuff all the time. I'm telling you, you want to be a part of that. So. That was the semi-aggressive one. Here's the super aggressive one. Some of you have some of you may not even say it. It may be too much for you. Here's the super aggressive one. They say, Miss Betty says, I want to think about it. I'm not ready to make a decision. Whatever, right? Call me back. Come on. Miss Betty, I, I wish you could. Unfortunately, we have a no callback policy in our office. We've had prospects that sit, said they were going to think about it. They didn't think about it because we just get busy and never do. They ended up passing away. Guess who their family blamed that they didn't have insurance? They blamed the agent, the last agent that was there. And 
I don't want to be to blame when we didn't help protect your family. Now, you need it, you want it, you can afford it. It makes perfect sense. So I recommend that you go ahead and take it. Let me see if I can get you approved. What's your full legal name? Now, is that aggressive or is that aggressive? But it, but it works. It works. Like, if you're able to help them, if you're able to help them get the coverage they need, then who cares, right? It's, a, it, 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 it's super aggressive, but it's also super true. Very, very, very true. I'm still over here, right, Dylan? Super aggressive and super true. My no callback close work. And I say mine because I've adopted it for the insurance industry, but I got it from Brian Tracy. I'm telling you, it freaking works. And if you think we're spitting gold right now, you ought to spend two days with us at 8% Nation. We just, had, we, just, we, just, we just sold out a retreat, eight bedroom retreat in Arizona for a weekend with us. And it, got, it just recently sold out over a month in advance. So if you want to be a part of some of the stuff we're doing training wise to help you grow, you need to take immediate action because we sell events out early. That's what we do. Super aggressive. I want to see in comments below if you would try this. Show of hands if on YouTube and Facebook if you would try this. Yes or no. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you would be too scared to do it. I want to know. I want to see it. All right. So 